The U.S. Congress could take action to make it easier for marijuana businesses to handle their money. A House committee voted to move what is being called the Safe Banking Act to the full House for consideration. The 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell tells us local marijuana provisioning centers say it could make communities safer. As you see more and more medical marijuana facilities around Metro Detroit, you might be surprised to learn that none of them can do business with traditional banks. The reef in Detroit keeps growing as a business, but cash flow at times has been a challenge. Unfortunately, we can't go to a regular bank and receive a loan. The reason? Federal law threatens FDIC insured banks with the loss of that FDIC insurance if they break the law. And right now it's illegal for banks to work with businesses selling illegal drugs. And at the federal level, that includes marijuana. If they accept debit cards, they have to work through high risk processing services that charge about five times the normal fees. It forces them to operate as a mostly cash business and leads to security challenges. It definitely puts people at risk without the ability to move cash into a bank and I think that by opening these doors, we'll have, there'll be a lot less of those incidences where people break into provisioning centers. A committee has approved legislation in the U.S. House that would change that. What's being called the Safe Banking Act is co-sponsored by 152 Democrats and 12 Republicans. This allows us to uh, have a lot more potential opportunities when it comes to banking, but also getting the loans and financing to expand uh, our business and future opportunities. As you can see by these signs, the reef is planning to expand, and there's no doubt having access to traditional banking, loans to make that happen, would definitely make expansion easier. They say expect to see more business if this law is passed. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.